What's up guys? I'm Damian Warhol and in this video I'm going to be doing another drink review. So uh, as you guys know I'm really into health and I'm really into drinks and I'm really into being refreshed and I'm into being um, mentally focused. You know what I'm saying? So um, anywho I uh, have recently got this drink. I got this on Amazon, and I got a 12-pack. I've been drinking it, and uh, it's pretty good. So it is by Elements. So you can see Elements. And uh, it's called a plant-based focus drink. And this is a really interesting um, beverage. So... Um, I got this because uh, I, I saw it on Amazon. I was actually searching for Lion's Mane. So as you guys might know from my other videos, I consume a lot of Lion's Mane mushroom as well as other mushrooms. Uh, lion's Mane is the main one, but I also take Chaga, Turkey Tail, Cordyceps, and a couple other ones, right? But those are like the big ones. And um, I was looking up Lion's Mane, and I came across this drink here. And I did do a review on a energy drink that has Lion's Mane in it. But this one is not an energy drink. And um, what I mean by that is it doesn't have caffeine in it. But it has other good things in it. So uh, what's really good, it's got Lion's Mane in it, and you can see... It's actually got the fruiting bodies on the can there. You see that? That's lion's mane. And it also has adaptogens. And what adaptogens it has? The main one is ashwagandha. And um, I'm guessing that's what ashwagandha looks like. I don't know. I've never seen ashwagandha. But, um, you know, I've taken ashwagandha in different su supplement forms, you know. Ashwagandha. So let's take a look at this can here. So um, I got to look at the nutritional facts. And okay, so full disclosure, guys, I can't see anything with these sunglasses on. And you might notice that it's really hard to read the nutritional facts because it's like this light pink can with white font, right? So it's like, what are they trying to hide? You know, they're trying to hide something here. They're trying to... What are they trying to hide, guys? Well, let's investigate. So, let's see here. So, it's got uh, 10 calories in it. <sighs> 10 calories, guys? Oh, my gosh. Um, I think I can live with that. So, first of all, what's the serving size? Okay, one can. One can is a serving size. So, they're not trying to trick you. They're being upfront about the stuff. You know, you don't got to do any, any you know, long division over here. To figure out how many different things are in one serving, right? Because one serving is one can. Don't you hate it whenever products will do that? They'll be like, "Oh, it's only got it's only got uh, ten grams of sugar," and it's like, "Oh, oh man, uh, a serving is like two pieces," and this is a, a twenty-four pack. They're not doing that with this, guys. One serving is one can, so they're being upfront so far so where are these calories coming from guys so let's see here um it's got zero fat zero cholesterol zero sodiums oh one gram of carbs guys all right you better watch out if you're doing the keto diet you can only have 30 of these a day um i think that's pretty reasonable what do you guys think you think you think you need more than 30 of these a day? Probably not. Probably just like 20, right? Anywho, um, let's see. So this one is, uh, okay, we're, we're, we're looking at the nutritional facts here. So it's got one carbohydrate. Um, it's got zero sugars, but um, even though it, ha it has zero sugars, it could have, it could have some artificial sweeteners right? So let's take a look at this ingredients list here. Oh, it's got, well, steviol 
glucosides. So is that stevia? I think it has stevia in it, which that's better than sugar. It's definitely better than sugar. But, you know, it's still gonna possibly spike your insulin. That's a bad thing. It'd be better if it didn't have any sweeteners in it at all. But then, obviously, it wouldn't taste as good, you know. But, um, anywho. Um, so, any anyway, I mean, this, this is pretty healthy stuff. This is a pretty healthy drink, guys. All jokes aside, it only has one carb. It, it's got 10 calories. It's got no sugar. It's pretty good for you guys. So, let's see what's in here. So, lion's mane mushroom extract. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's also got... Blueberry fruit juice powder, monk fruit extract, uh, and uh, fruit and vegetable juices. I'm not a big fan of fruit and ve fruit juices. Vegetable juices are okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I believe this is supposed to have ashwagandha in it, but I'm not seeing ashwagandha on the ingredients list. So maybe I'm mistaken. I must be mistaken, guys. I guess there's no ashwagandha in this. So, this is some other plant. Can you guys tell me in the comments section what plant that is? If it's not ashwagandha, it's one of these other things. Let's see here. So, we've got uh, this thing right here showing like the, the, good, the good stuff. Here's what we want to know. So, uh... Shisandra, Lion's Mane, and Cetacoline. Cetacoline. So I've heard of that. I've heard that's in like vapes, right? And it's supposed to be like a bad thing? No, that's acetylcholine. Um, Yeah, so I don't know what any of this stuff is, guys. Can you tell me what any of this crap is? I mean, I know what Lion's Mane is. And, um, let's see. Clinically effective levels of adaptogens. So I think that's why I assumed it had ashwagandha in it because it has clinical levels of adaptogens. But uh, so I know what lion's mane is, and these other two things maybe they're adaptogens. I'm not exactly sure. So I'm not gonna pretend to know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna you know tell you guys how to be healthy. And, um, you just have to trust me because of how healthy and good-looking I am. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm getting very, very old. You know, I'm getting close to retirement age. But look how, look how young I look. Look how youthful my skin is, even though I'm who knows how old I am. You know what I mean? I don't know when people retire, but, um, I want to retire pretty soon, you know. Uh, anyway, this this stuff tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. It's, um, it's not carbonated, so it's not fizzy, and it kind of tastes like, like, like juice, right? And it tastes pretty good. Um, this is actually my last can of it because I drank it all, and I'm going to save this for tomorrow. It's almost bedtime right now, so I'm going to save this one for tomorrow. But, um, yeah, this is a really good drink. I highly recommend it. And, um, that's pretty much it. So, um, I hope you like this video, guys. I'm gonna try and come up with some content better than reviewing drinks. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm a really boring person, guys. So, I don't really watch the news or know what's going on or watch TV or anything. I don't even go outside, guys. Like, I just kind of sit in my room and I order drinks on Amazon and I drink them. And that's like 90% of my life, you know? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, you know, hit that notification bell, you know, so that as soon as, as, soon as I make a video, you're going to be bombarded with notifications about Damian Warhol. And that's the way that it should be, you know? So, uh, yeah, see you next time, guys.